After Perfect Portrait has automatically selected where the face is inside your image, you can go to the Skin Retouching panel and edit a couple of different things. First, there's a blemish slider, and this allows you to remove some of the more obvious blemishes that are on the skin. When you load an image into Perfect Portrait, it will automatically change the blemishes, the smoothing, and the evenness sliders. You can still go back in and change each one of them if you'd like to. So I'm going to go ahead and raise my blemishes slider up quite a bit to make sure that it removes as much as possible. Then you can go ahead and you can change how much smoothness you'd like to add to the skin. Right now it's set to 20, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Then I can go ahead and I can reduce shine. If there are parts of the image that have a little bit of shine, including on the nose and on the forehead, you can take the shine slider and you can move it over to the right to help reduce that effect. Next is the shadow slider, which allows you to lighten some of the darker shadows, including under eye circles on a portrait. Then you can go ahead and you can add a little bit of the texture back into the skin. Sometimes when you add a little too much smoothing, the texture gets taken away. So you can go ahead and reapply a little bit of that texture on top of the smoothness if you'd like to. And then last is the evenness slider. This helps reduce some of the redder and pinker areas of the skin including on the cheeks or possibly on the nose or on the chin to help even out the skin tone across the entire face. Now underneath you'll see a face only box. If you have a portrait of someone, for example, who has a strapless dress on, you can also apply the same skin smoothing, shine reduction, evenness, and so on. You can apply that to the rest of the skin on the neck, on the shoulders, and on the chest. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on face only as this image is only of the person's face. Last, you have the reset button and this allows you to reset all of these skin retouching sliders back to their original numbers. Or if you pop a portrait into Perfect Portrait and you decide that you don't want to add any skin retouching, all you need to do is go ahead and turn this panel off and then you don't have to worry about going in and moving all of those sliders over to zero.